What's going on guys? Honky Kong here. Today is uh, Tuesday, January 7th. I'm coming to you live from a very frigid Motor City. Right now we're clocking in at negative 13 degrees. Wind chill is negative 30 to 40. It is absolutely brutal cold out here. Um, you know, I've lived in Michigan a good portion of my life. I was stationed in, in Germany in the Army and it gets cold there. And I've never seen cold like this. I can't ever remember feeling negative 40 degree temperatures. So, um, you know, shout out to those of you out there suffering through this Arctic Vortex along with me. Stay bundled up. Keep warm. Uh, today I want to do a video and I want to discuss the recent comments and the reaction to the recent comments of Evander Holyfield while he was shooting Big Brother 2, or I'm sorry, Big Brother in the UK, all right? And here's what he said. He made some comments about homosexuality, um, and what he said was, first thing he said jumped on me. He said, the Bible says homosexual Bible lets us know it's wrong. Okay, I'm not a Bible scholar. It's probably in there. That's fine. All right. Second thing he said, homosexuality can be cured. He and then he equated to like if you go to the doctor, um, you get a disease and they, and they cure it. Okay, that's what he said. He's, that's his opinion. And of course, you know all the fucking liberal rags, all the fucking card carrying glad gay mafia fucking member motherfuckers put out. Oh, he says being you know Holyfield equates being gay to being handicapped. Blah blah blah. That's not what he said. You ignorant motherfuckers. And the third thing he said, which once again is opinion, he said homosexuality is choice. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't agree with two of the things he said, okay? That's my personal opinion. And, and just as I'm entitled to my fucking personal opinion, Holyfield is entitled to his personal opinion. Well, the gay mafia members of the, uh, that are the producers of the fucking Big Brother UK jumped all over and pulled them into a room, said this is hate speech, we won't tolerate this, we won't stand for this, it's homophobic, blah, blah, blah. The fucking word gets out of what he said and cue the fucking outrage from the left wingers. Cue the outrage from the, the fucking uh, gay mafia, from the glad people, the fucking fembots on Twitter, the you know the rainbow flag wavers on Twitter who, who just sit around and, and can't wait to find something to be butthurt about so they have something to cry and complain about. These motherfuckers are having a field day with this. Like, they're acting like he came out and were calling for the fucking uh, gay people to be put on a fucking pike and executed, you know? Absolutely despicable and disgusting. And one of the, you know, one of the things that I saw that really bugged me, all the fucking blowback on Twitter he's getting for the, for stating his opinion, number one, his fucking opinion, um, was from, um, guess who led the charge on Twitter? Boy fucking George. This, this, Boy George is one of the most despicable, vile human beings in existence, and I truly hope he dies a, a fucking horrible death. I really, I hope he fucking overdoses on fucking heroin, which he's admitted to being addicted to. Heroin, been busted with cocaine. Fucking Boy George a couple years ago kidnapped a fucking gay prostitute, <laughs> handcuffed the dude to a wall, and then beat him with a fucking chain. And you're going to talk shit about Holyfield, Boy George? Man, go fuck yourself. Please overdose on heroin, you fucking despicable piece of shit. Go fucking Boy George, man. So Boy George and all the rest of the little fembots on Twitter are attacking Holyfield. You know, and, and, and it just, it, it boils down to, once again, what has happened to free speech? What has happened to my ability to voice my opinion without being attacked for it? All he said was basically he disagrees with homosexuality. That's all he said. But yet the gay mafia won't stand for it. They're going to do everything in their power to assault and attack people for if they if they put forth any opinion that is not GLAD certified. If you're not out there banging the fucking war drum and, and waving the fucking rainbow flag for gays and gay rights and gay marriage, they will come after you. You know, me personally, I do not agree with homosexuality, okay? I don't. It, that's me personally. I, I will never think it's normal and I'll never think it's right. Does that mean I'm going to go out and attack and beat up gay dudes on site? Does that mean I'm going to go say, say, make smart comments and say mean shit to gay people to make them feel bad? Absolutely not. You know why? Because I have common sense. Because what people do in the privacy of their own homes, what two consenting adults do is their own business. As long as nobody's getting hurt, guess what? I don't give a fuck. You know why I don't say nothing? Because it's not my fucking business. But the very fact that I don't agree with it is not acceptable to the gay mafia. You, you Nowadays, you can't not agree with it or they're coming after you. And I think that is completely and utterly ridiculous. I thought our free speech was fucked up here in America. Well, apparently it's fucked up in the uh, UK too because they came down on them quick, fast, and hurry. What the fuck happened to being able to express an opinion? I, I don't I don't know. I don't I don't understand it. Well I, I can how the fuck did we get here? How did the gay mafia gain so much fucking power and push this gay agenda so fucking hard to where you cannot even disagree 
with homosexuality without being um, labeled a, as a hate monger, as, as some type of phobe or some type of ism, you know, you're, you're a misogynist, you're a fucking homophobe, you're, a, you, you, you're doing hate speech. Go fuck yourselves, you liberal pieces of fucking garbage. So the fuck is wrong with this political correctness, this overly political correct bullshit? <clears throat> we're going, we're, we are going in the wrong direction in this fucking world. Straight the fuck up. We are at the point where you can't disagree with a lifestyle. Uh, you're, you know, if you have Christian values, they're coming after you, and that's sad. That's sad. And that's shocking. That's all I got. Just wanted to talk about that real quick. You guys are out there in this cold weather. Please bundle up. Um, everybody be safe. And uh, I'm out of here. I'm going to catch you guys next time. Peace.